Hi, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to annotate your project and your edits using text, adding text notes and comments. You could put in things about the performance, the way it was recorded, or maybe add some notes about the decisions you made during editing or mixing. You could even put in notes about the lyrics for the song. Now, to get started, you can put in a description in the projects page in two places. I'm going to show you that first. So go to the projects tab. At the bottom, you can see you can put in a description. Here, you can add many, many words of text so you could fully describe what this project is all about. I'm going to copy this and just duplicate it a few times. You could see this goes on and on and on. And then you can scroll. Now, the project I'm working on right now has two different edits. You can also click on an edit and at the bottom. You can put in a description here as well, showing this edit was created to test these loops. And then I created this one today just in advance of making this video about adding text notes. So you can add even more text in here to fully describe the reason you did this edit. A lot of the times I will create a new edit before I make major changes to a project and use it as revision control. And then this is where I would type in the description of the point it was that I created that new edit. Now back over on the edit, there is a text plugin. I'm going to drag it here and under waveform plugins, you'll see it right here with a big T text it pops open here. And now we can give it a name and maybe this is going to be lyrics and we put it on the first track. And then you put in your lyric right here. There, so I've got my lyric typed in and you can see that it says lyrics right on it. You can add as many of these as you want throughout the project. You could click on it and open the user interface here. If you happen to have the full controls panel open, you'll see all that right down here. And again, you've got a big place here to put in as many lyrics as you want. Now, one thing you might want to do is organize even more notes, especially if you're doing something with racks. I'm going to just wrap these two things in a rack. So now I have my drums coming through the lyrics text object into a limiter. Now I have to say that this text object is extremely low latency for a plugin, completely transparent. It will not affect your sound negatively in any way. However, as you click on it, then you can see your song lyrics or any other notes you happen to have. Now you can take the text objects to another level if you use racks. And I have never known of anyone to do this with racks other than myself, but it's just one of those things about waveform that you could do stuff that you could think up that you just can't do in other DAWs if you know kind of how some of these features work. So I'm going to create a text object. I'm going to wrap that in a rack. And now that I'm in this rack, I am going to duplicate it a few times by just hitting D. Now, the cool thing about racks is it has a stack view. So if we click up here on the I, you can do the show stack editor. And from here, we've got our text plugins. And if you expand to show the values within there, you can do something like this. Here is my intro, and this could be lyrics or notes. I could put in a verse, put in your lyrics and notes there. And it's just something you would never have thought of doing using a plug-in rack, but you certainly can do this. Chorus with more text, and we'll do a bridge and even more text. You can also rearrange these notes from this view. Or if we go back to the rack editor view, and expand this more, you can actually use this as a sort of a mind map. If you have it in line with your other audio processing, you would need to connect one of these through, or you could just bypass the whole thing and just plug it straight past it. Clearly, if you are building a complex rack, 
then you can load it up with these text plugins to really clarify how the rack works. Now there's a couple other things you could do to annotate your project. Clips have an optional clip name. So if you wanted to annotate this as the best take or something like that, you could just take the clip name and say best take of the entire day. So I'm making it long to show you that you can put really long clip names in and they'll show up there on the clip if you have this property set. So under options, clip view options, you can show clip names and then you'll see that you could put that in there. So depending on how zoomed in or out you are, it would be potentially possible to even put lyrics on these clips. Maybe even better on a marker clip because you could do the same thing with marker clips. We'll do a bars and beats marker like that. So you could put a lot of words right into these markers by just giving them long names. One other thing you can do, text plugin. If you want to pass the entire energy of your song through some meaningful text, then you could create something like love, put in your favorite poem here, or just type love and peace. And now you could master your entire song as you mix it down through the perspective or through the thought of love and peace. I'm pretty sure you never thought of doing that with a waveform. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.